In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to configure your website for different responsive screen sizes using Elementor. Ensuring that your site looks great and functions well on any device is crucial in today's digital world. Let's dive in and walk through the process step by step. Start by navigating to your WordPress dashboard. From there, head over to Elementor settings. You can find this under the Features tab within the Elementor menu. This is where you'll enable a range of functionalities that can make your website more adaptable to various screen sizes. As you scroll down through the settings, keep an eye out for the section labeled Additional Custom Breakpoints. This is a pivotal aspect of making your site responsive. Once you locate it, click on the drop down menu next to it and select Active. This will enable you to make use of custom breakpoints, a powerful feature in Elementor. Remember to save your changes by scrolling down a bit further and hitting that Save Changes button. This ensures that anything you've activated takes effect immediately. With this setup complete, navigate to any page or template on your website. Once there, select Edit with Elementor to open the Elementor editor. At the top of the editor, you'll notice options that allow you to switch between desktop, tablet and mobile views. This is a handy way to preview how your content looks across different devices. Next, focus your attention on the top left corner of the editor. Click on Site Settings and then click on Layout. The Layout section holds crucial tools for adjusting how your site is structured. Scroll down until you find the Breakpoints section and expand it. Here you can customise specific settings for different screen sizes. To refine this even further, under Active Breakpoints, you'll notice a plus button. Click it. Once you do that, you will see various options such as Mobile Portrait, Tablet Portrait, and Tablet Landscape, among others. These settings allow you to get precise with pixel widths, ensuring that each device type displays your content just how you like it. If you'd like to add even more customization, you have the option to return to the Active Breakpoints section. By clicking the plus button, you can select additional options like laptop and widescreen to cater to a broader range of devices. Finally, don't forget to hit save changes again so that all of your adjustments are applied. This last step is essential to ensuring all of your settings are preserved, and there you have it. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to having a beautifully responsive website with Elementor. Make each adjustment count and ensure a seamless experience for every visitor no matter what device they use. Thank you for tuning in and happy editing.